If I think about the heyday, Chicago was the most important advertising city in the United States. Chicago, the most American of American cities. Why Chicago? It's just constant incoming of new people. African Americans in the South saw Chicago as the land of milk and honey. You could do anything you wanted in Chicago because nobody was here to tell you not to do it. A city of beauty, strength, and power. Chicago, commercial capital of the nation. And some of the important movements in advertising really came from Chicago. The Johnson Wax Program with Fibber McGee and Molly. Certainly, whenever anybody had a breakthrough, the rest of the industry would shake their heads ruefully and say, I wish I had thought of that. But if you tell the story first, it's your story. If I had this idea myself and wrote it out, it wouldn't have gotten off the ground. What's up? What's, What's up? up? What's up? What's up? Hello? <laughs> does advertising follow the popular culture, or does it create culture? They're stepping and doing all these stuff. America hadn't seen anything like that before, but we have. One of the mantras of the agency starting out was black people are not dark-skinned white people. They had never seen themselves projected in media in a positive, realistic way. It's a great reminder of how the things that we create can have incredible meaning. There's a difference between creating a buzz and creating a brand. Contact and connection, an algorithm and a human insight, and there's a big difference between big data and a big idea.